around the world. This is Maxim from Calyx's YouTube Data Channel. Today we are continuing with our Excel tutorial series, and we're going to be doing tables, ranges, and some other basic Excel functions on this video. So I'll just dive right into it right now. So I told you all around that a range is a group of cells that you highlight like this, and you can do a lot of things to this range. First of all, I want to turn this range into a table. So there are some that have a range like this. And that is my range that I just highlighted. Now this range is from cell D5. Okay, don't worry, I'll tell you how to name the range later on. So I can just come here and format <coughs> this range, format cells. If I come to the format cells, you see several options right here. Okay. And but the one the one we are very interested in is the border. I want to create a border for this range and then we do that yeah so like that I just successfully created a table for this for the for the range I just highlighted right now so you can see that it's in shape okay I can I can still work on this further I can work on this further I can go back to the format so and I can remove this. Okay, I can remove this. I probably change, change this. You can see that we have double line right now around the table, which is cool. So this is table. The table is beginning to take shape, and it's gonna make sense. Okay, now I can begin to type into this. Into this, I can say this is my serial number. Okay. And then you can say I can use auto few. I think I'll show you auto few in the earlier video. So this is number one and just come here and drag it and drag this down and it will fill up. So I will come here and say what I want is to be filled in series. Yeah, so I can begin to put some things into this table. <coughs> okay, I can say uh colleagues Calix data, Calix data table, not table, please table. All right. Perhaps I want to change the color, and this I can change this color into the one I want. I think I can this changing. I can, I can do that here. Okay. So you can see the color is changing right now. And you can still go back to that formatting function, formatting cells, and change the color. Okay. So I can say this is name. Okay, name and um, oh, let me say his first name. This is first name. First name. Okay, and last name. And last name. Okay, then we're cool. Uh, I hit code. All right, just stop there. So we have a table right now. You know that I just highlighted a range, and I went to the format cells right here, and I have a table. That's one way to have a table, and it's not really bad. Before I proceed, okay. That's one way to have a table. I want to show you how to name a table. Now, look at this table here. This is a table here. If I highlight this table, I can name it. Okay, I can name this table. I say Calix table. Okay, Calix table. So I can refer to this table as a whole with Calyx table. Now I'm going to give you an example of that, how, what I mean by that. I'm going to have some numbers right here. Let me say 12, okay, no, 11 is okay. I'm going to have some numbers here. Then just do that. You know this already, so. I want to create a range for this, for this. Okay, I want to create a range for it. I'm just, just going to, with a range um, for myself. Okay. All 
All right, so this is a table that has been, this is a table actually, it's a, co a single column table. And I want to name this range now, this table. I want to name it. I want to use the name in calculation so that, so that you can understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, it should move very fast. All right, I'm going to name the table my test table. My test table. My test. Okay. Now, one thing I would like I would like you to know is that in naming the table, you can you can see that there are things you cannot do. Okay, in naming the table right here, and put a name here. Okay, the name cannot contain a space. I can say my test like this. Be an error. Okay, good. You can say that it can be it can be space. Another thing is that it must start with with a letter or an underscore. If I start this table with a number, my test, I will have an error. Okay. Uh, it must start with a, a letter or an underscore. Okay. Letter, underscore, or a backlash. So if I start with this with a backlash test, it should accept it. But I don't want to use a backlash. I want to use my test underscore. Alright. And the character cannot be more than 200. 55 in length okay the, the, the text you can enter here can be more than 255 so just have that, that in mind so i entered now okay i think i have the name here let me check my test is here i'm gonna use my test is here okay now on this on this cell here i want to refer to this table the first thing is i want to use a formula to count the number of things we have on this step on this cell so I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna say equals to uh, count. Okay, my test. You can see it's giving me my test already. So it's telling me that on this my test, this table, we have 12 items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 12 items on this table. So okay, I want to find the the summation of this of everything on this table now. I'm gonna sum okay equals to sum. Don't worry, when we get to functions and formulas, you understand all these calculations and this these are the simple ones or the simpler ones actually. Sum my test. Alright. Okay, you can see that I'm not typing the range now, I'm typing the name and it's giving me summing this for me. Which is very good. Alright, I'll just leave that. I think we're cool with that. Another thing is how to name a range. How to name a range. Okay, I'm gonna put some numbers here. Okay, let me just put uh, the hard time to type names. I won't okay. I'll use another table for that, okay, so that it should be cool. But you understand how this goes? No. I'm gonna use some table. I'm gonna have a table right here. Good. This is a data from US, uh, whatever department or whatever. So it's a crime data set and populations, the type of the type of of, of crime and everything. So I'm going to use this data, this data set to show you the, the other way of creating table. Now I've shown you here how to create a table from a range, which is very nice. I've shown you how to refer to a range or a table, so that's very cool. So as we move on. I'm going to use this to show you how to enter to create a table and this is more efficient than the first one so on this you just create not now there's no it there's no table here these things are just in cells okay by the way let me try to see okay so okay so you just create any cell within this okay so you come to insert and then you see table right here when you click table Excel is wise enough to 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 circle the content of that table, and then it is asking you this table does it have header? Of course, we have header. We have population and everything. So I say okay. Good. This is more efficient. This is faster way of creating table. And now we have our table. We have populations. We have violent crimes and some other things like that on the table. Okay. All right. Now I was telling you, I was about to tell you how to refer to a table, how to 
name a range okay now I'm gonna show you here all right I want to, I want to change the color right away you can come here as you click this table it give you some beautiful design right here that you can change this table to which is very nice okay let me see the one I can use we prefer some nice ones no I have several options to choose from so okay I think I'll use this okay I'll use this so um, how do you name a range and how do you, how do you use a range in calculations for example if I want to if I want to name this place this cell now we say this cell this cell here is cell L L and the number is 3 so I want to say I want to sum cell L3 is L3 to L6 alright what I will do is I will say sum okay so it's an input function in excel i say sum l3 you can see that it's highlighting cell l3 for me to l6 now if i close that bracket it gives me the value of that okay you can see that it's some l3 to l6 so it sums that for me it sums that for me if i want to find the average of cell L3 to L6 if I say um, average okay average L6 L3 two column then L6 you close that it gives me the average of that all right all right so that is something I think we're true with how to with ranges and tables and all now we have this beautiful table I will go into some basic operations that we can perform on the table some basic operations okay I'm gonna start with uh, freeze 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 pain now if you see if you look at this data if I scroll if I scroll, let me see. If I scroll down like this, you see that the heading is gone, or the header is gone. So I want to do it in such a way. And if I come like this, if I come to the right, the other side is gone. The area column is gone. So when you freeze pane, what freeze pane does is that it allows you to keep this header header in view, and as well you can keep this 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 type of table as in view as well so i'm gonna jump into it now i think uh where is where do i have that in view yeah when you come to view you will see an option called freeze panes you click that you see several options the first option is keep rows and columns visible while the rest of the worksheet scrolls okay rows and column visible rows and column visible now the next one is freeze top rows and the next one is freeze first column okay, i'm gonna start from the bottom up so i'm gonna click this now i freeze the column this column this area column now if i scroll to the right this column remains in view and it's very handy very nice i tell you every time you start working on big data you understand so i go back there again freeze pain i won't i won't freeze this okay i won't, I won't freeze that so wow it's still still in perspective so mm, freeze first color i'm gonna go to the next one is top i'm gonna freeze the top row now i freeze this column these rows all these rows are in, in view so if i scroll down i have these things in view very nice then if i did the last option there is okay i'm freezing on pains but i'm not from freezing it yet if i'm freeze it now everything is the way it was there's an option right there that i that that, I, that is useful this option now this option keeps the row and the column in, in 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 place so if i come this way where are you where are you again if i come like this okay you see that everything the force couple of rows are in, in view 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna remove and freeze the pen and then I'm gonna freeze the upper part of it, the top row. Okay. So we'll leave that. We'll leave that I'll move to the next one. The next important uh Excel uh operation that's my watch window. What watch window does is that it allows you to keep a particular cell or group of cells in view as you move across. Now this is option from, from you can see from here. You can see uh where's watch window again? Okay, let me see. Okay, watch window is in the formulas. It's supposed to be here. Alright, here. Alright, we have the watch window. This is the watch window right now. So what I want to do is I want to keep these cells, these cells right here. I want to keep this cell in view and probably this cell. So you come here and you add to it. You add it. You can see that from the crime data set, uh, cell C3 is in view. I want to add this one to it. Add to watch window. Alright, so I have these three cells. If I want to be looking at the this, these figures right here, wherever I go, this that view will be there. Okay, I'll keep it in view. It's be there. It's be in my watch window, and it's gonna be it's gonna be coming in very handy in the future tutorial. So you can keep that in mind. Okay, I'm gonna move, move very fast right now. Next thing is comments. Okay, I also add comments. Perhaps you have. Let me assume that here uh, this figure i'm not I'm, I, I, I'm not really sure about this figure i want to add a comment so just right click you can see um what is that comment stuff insert comment okay insert comment so you have it you can say i'm not sure about this number okay so it's remains there you can see it gives you this little red sign button right here so this comment goes and comes and goes so if anybody comes around you see that there's a comment on this okay and then you can keep this you, you can can show this keep it in view right but that's by right clicking and you show or hide comment i'm going to show the comment so the comment should mess there all right so you want to format this comment you just right click and say format com comments here you can change the, the the style, you can change the color, you can change the font and everything. But if you want more 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 options from this format section here, you put your cursor on this on the line, okay, on the line like this. Then you right click, then you come to format comments. You see more options, okay, font alignment, colors, size, a lot of things, okay. You can play around with it at your leisure time. I'm not gonna work on them. If you look at this table. Okay, you, you see some little drop down buttons right here. Okay, I'm gonna show you sort and filter. Sort is uh, a way of uh, ordering the data set, and filter is a way of removing or adding, removing or adding whatever you want to remove or add to the data set so that it brings out a particular pattern. So, in this area, if you click here, you see that I can sort this. Sorting is here already. Okay, I can sort this this from A to Z. Let me that from from A to Z. If I sort it from A to Z, I'll come back across first. Now, this this a little arrow that shoot, that goes up that shows that this this column has been sorted. Okay, now there's another thing filter underneath here. There's, there's filter and we have a lot of um, so I can just use this button right here. I want to show the the, the data for. Alabama okay only Alabama so if I click this on that data set Alabama has only one entry okay if you want to show another one let me see I want to show Alaska let's see how Alaska goes All right it seems everybody has one entry so I'm gonna add Arizona Alabama and California so it brings out the data, the data for those two states alone that's the power of filter okay now if i if i if i sort this again from a to z and 
Now, if we sort from Z to A, the last will come first. Okay, so that is sort and um, sort and uh, filter. Okay, I think we are cool with that. Let me see the other thing to show you before we call this a day. Um, here's step step this. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching.